Just a potter in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated Weed Everybody and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is David, and I uh, just wanted to share some updates on the options I have for supercharging this car. So, if you remember in a previous video, I uh, went over the safety aspect of supercharging and whether or not the car could be supercharged safely on the stock motor, completely stock internals. I've determined that's a yes. Now, I'm still kind of on the fence a little bit. Like, I'm not 100%, but I'm like 90%. So, that's pretty much the direction I'm going to go. With that being said, um, I have a couple of options on supercharging. Like, I'm pretty sure I want a, a, a pro charger. Now, I'm looking for suggestions. So, if you, if you guys know of any of this stuff, please put it in the comments because... Um, I don't have a lot of experience supercharging V8s. Like, I don't know a lot about it. So it's kind of uncharted territory for me. Um, I want a Pro Charger, and I think the install is pretty easy. It's supposed to take, like, um, 10 hours, I think, but with a professional, which means it'll probably take me a week or two, which is fine. But basically, my options are I can't work on the supercharger until I uh, get my garage cleaned out. Like, I'm not going to install a supercharger in the driveway. It would need to be in the garage. My garage is still full of tile and everything else for the house. My house flooded in Harvey, in Hurricane Harvey, if um, if you don't know, if you haven't been part of the channel that long. So I got st supplies in the garage. So right now, no cars are going in the garage. Either I have to wait until the garage is empty. That way I can pull the car in and, and like do, do the install and everything. Or I can have a shop to do, do it. Now there's pros and cons to each one. Okay, first off, okay, the shop I was looking at is called um, Sirius... Sirius HP, uh, Sirius HP Performance, and that's a shop in Houston. I actually talked to them. Great guys there. Um, I think I spoke with the owner, and um, they have a, a supercharger package where they install essentially a tuner pro charger kit, and um, they do a little bit different stuff with the like they put a, a Kenny Bell booster pump for the fuel system, and I think they either keep the stock fuel pump in there or maybe they up upgrade it. But they put a booster pump in. They put different injectors than the, the normal um, complete kit would come come with. Most of it is the same, but they tune it differently. And they, they say out of these cars, they usually go for between 630 and 650 of the wheels. And he said he's done a whole bunch of them and none of them have failed. He said there has been failures, which people have bumped up the power. Because like, like anything, you can bump it up to 700 plus and uh, just put a different pulley on there and it'll... It'll make the power until it breaks. But he said at that normal moderate level of low 600s, no failures. So that is a that's a good option. I can I can take it there probably in the next few weeks and have them install it. Now for the price, that is a that's nine thousand dollars completely installed, probably plus tax and stuff. So somewhere around nine grand. I'll just do pre-tax prices, and that's um completely installed with the upgraded injectors. Uh, a tune, dyno tune, uh, colder plugs, fuel pump, everything done. And around 620 to 650 to the wheels. And that's also includes the upgraded uh, intercooler, the, the race intercooler, the big one. So they do a little bit different on their kit. So they get more power out of the cars and they tune them better. And they've done a bunch of these. So, I mean, I'm in Houston, so we're, we're, we're big horsepower fans out here. So they've done a bunch of these cars and, and they don't have any Concerns about the failure, of course, it's not, nothing's 100%, but they know what they're doing and they can do it for nine grand. Now, if I did it myself, I spoke with them and the, the, the normal complete Pro Charger kit usually makes in the uh, upper 500 to the wheel level with just the stock, that factory tune that it comes with and um, everything else. So if I went that route, I would be looking at a little bit less power, probably somewhere around 40, 50 less horsepower to the wheels just because of the tune and the, um, you know, the injector sizes and everything that they go with on their kit. That would only cost 7300 for the kit, and that's the base kit with the upgraded intercooler. I want the big intercooler because it gets really hot out here, and I don't want to have any detonation issues or anything like that. So I just want to get the biggest intercooler I can get. Totally overrated for the car. I think it's like 1,200 horsepower, but, you know, that means in the 110 degree heat index that we get out here, it should perform just fine. So... Um, basically those are my options. I can either spend 
7,300 and do it myself or spend uh, 9,000 and have them do it. Now, obviously if they do it, there's more power, which is a pro and they're doing it. So I don't have to deal with it. If I do it myself, a little bit less power, but a little bit less cost. I mean, it would be, you know, $1,700 less. Uh, but of course I couldn't start on it for a while because my garage isn't available. So kind of pros and cons on each. You guys can uh, leave in the comments below which direction you think I should go. It'll probably be a month or two before my garage is capable of keeping the car in it. So that, uh, I kind of wanted to do it sooner than later. When I start thinking too much, maybe I'll like change my mind or something, or like, I'll go over the variables a million times. So I just kind of want to pull the trigger on something. So yeah, tell me what you think. Shop is definitely a good idea and doing it myself seems like an okay idea. Of course, you know, there's also the risk of me screwing it up. You know, I've never done anything like this. So I'm, I don't know if I could find anyone to help me. I don't know. I don't have any friends that would be able to help me or know how to work on cars. So I would essentially be by myself unless I can muster up someone else that can help. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, on the fence about it, about which direction I want to go. I definitely would like to, I don't know, I, I kind of, I'm leaning towards having the shop do it. Uh, I'll leave I'll leave a link to them down below so you can check out their website and see what you think. They're local and I got a good good idea of from talking to him. Um, he, I mean, he knows the, the engine, the transmission, and I really learned a lot from talking to them. So I feel like they know what they're doing and they're, they have a good reputation out here and I, and I think that's the best direction to go. If I have a shop do it, if I do it myself, that's fine too. He said it's pretty easy. He said I, he doubts I would have any problems with it, but you know, it'd be a little bit less power and uh, you know, I, I don't have a place to do it right now. So that's, that's the other, that's the other sucky thing. So anyway, I know I repeated myself a bunch of times cause uh, my thoughts are kind of all over the place, but let me know what you think. Um, leave some comments on uh, what direction you think I should go and you know, maybe why or, um, you know, how you feel. I think it would be cool to have the supercharger install on, on the, on the channel, but at the same time, it's, if it's going to be so long, then, you know, that kind of, what's the point? So whatever. Um, I think that's it for now. So peace and, um, be sure to like, and subscribe. And if you want to see some more updates on this build, it's definitely happening. It's just, uh, the timeline and those, those variables that I'm trying to figure out. So that's it. Take care. Just a pilot in this cockpit seat. Black leather on his head.